Hey guys, it's Axo here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Until Dawn. Now, when we left off, it was a pretty long episode. Um, I'm kind of recording this immediately after, so I don't know anyone's feedback. <laughs> but, I'm really excited to continue this with this game. Hopefully everything worked out. Hopefully everything was fine when I recorded it. And, yeah, let's continue. It. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay, we're back. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger Too every jealousy. time I climb it. Feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Thoughtful, loving, complex. I didn't want to talk during the previously on, just so it would feel very movie-esque. They kind of paused Josh at like a weird moment <laughs> where one of his eyes was like lower than the other. Or Come closed on, more than the other. Feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. I wonder how rich hey, gang. Josh is. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could have done with some bellboys, but uh, hey. Gotta get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's just really weird being back here. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Triple yo's. Yeah, Triple yo's shows I'm serious. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to, like, break the ice right off the bat. I might do it later, but, like, let me just gossip a little bit. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? So maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. <laughs> hey Ash. Hi, Chris. Ash, catch him. It's weird to be back, to be honest. She did right? say that before. Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Matt. Matt. Oh. Ooh. See, that's not good. Guidance totem? Well, that's not really good guidance. That's more like... Hey, don't be dumb, Guidance. Probably gonna, oh, I'm probably going to be dumb anyways. <laughs> Just for the sake of being it. Matt! Been a while. Go weird without your helmet and jersey. Yeah, been a tough one. Good to see you. Maybe nosy. I'm a nosy so, Nancy. you and Emily. That, that happening? 100%, man. It was kind of unexpected, but... Uh, been great. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Sammy. So, oh. see Nash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, 
How's, uh... How's she doing? She's fine. Why? No reason. I love that even Sam, like the... One who's, like, the most reasonable, and the, uh... The one who would, like, be the voice of reason to every to everybody in the group. I love how sh even she's like, hey, you and Ashley are a thing. Like, we, you should just do it already. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? I'm sorry? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, rude. Don't be like that. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect I mean, there scenario? I mean, might not be 18. Erotic possibilities. You and Ashley alone at last. Considering he's you like, there's no the parents. Grammar. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. If they're 18, they wouldn't need to worry about parents. But no, I don't, I don't want to like... I need to make sure Ashley's ready know, for it. Man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? And what if she she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? Yeah. I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. <sighs> yeah, Chris. Chris is just waiting for the right time. He's not. He just doesn't want to like jump into so it. So how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or... I love that if you stay idle, it zooms into the people's faces. And, last time I checked, and you could see, like, the motion capture. Good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. I guess they record the... I, I said last episode how they record the body and the face separate, and I think I see why they do it. So that you can uh, move while they're talking at the same time. It's pretty reasonable. But I guess in but in some cases where it's like full on cutscene uh, cutscenes, they don't really need to do that. Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge. Got an app that can get you laid. Well, actually, dude, you don't. The answer is that you don't. Rude. He's rude. Okay, there's nothing over there. I don't know why I was looking. I'm gonna try to get all the clues. Hmm. Axe holder. He's not gonna even talk to Josh, being like, hey, Josh, um, the axe isn't there no more. And it kind of looks like it just got removed recently, just based on the different colors of the wood. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. He, he doesn't even talk about the axe. <laughs> I saw his hand through his jacket. Josh's hand. I saw that. attention in climbing class you mean Jim yeah you know with the climbing up the rope whoa did I do that I, I don't think so I don't know how Here. that even happened use this he makes fire with his hands whoa Chris I just got an awesome idea yeah totally what, what is it okay so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. 
Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> I noticed that uh, Chris is wearing like three, uh, four different things of clothing. He's got like a shirt, then a shirt, uh, then like an overshirt, and then a jacket. And is that one jacket with the? It, that might be one whole jacket or two jackets. But like he's wearing like th a crap ton of clothing. And then like most of it's just unzipped. <laughs> okay, well fire fire bad. No lost totem. Fire bad. Let's avoid fire, even though he's holding the fire. <laughs> Wump. Yunk. Whoosh. <laughs> so, what have we here? Ex janitor convicted for arson. Swears revenge on movie mogul's family. The cool thing about these games is that they have a full-on story with the clues, and like a lot of writing. Well, some people don't read the writing, some people just collect the clues. Um, but it's still cool that they put in effort to make all the clues actually have a lot of writing and a lot of things to say, and it looks like really detailed. Like, it says volume 50, number 28. High of 17 degrees, low of 15 degrees, mostly cloudy. Like, they didn't need to add that part, but they did, and that's really cool. And he's, uh, there's even writing on the back that he doesn't read. Nor can you read it. I mean, you can read it on the actual newspaper thing before he flips it over, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, show the text on the right. cool there's a family por portrait is cool Josh said if you have a spare million around I'll hook you right up he doesn't have a million dollars I highly doubt that I'm sure he has like at least a million what the hell was that oh no the door just wanted to close on you wanted to be rude I think there was the wind I think you're going crazy Chris but like he has this whole entire lodge cabin that has like really a lot of rooms has an HD TV. It has all these lights. Like this probably costs a lot of money. And not only that, but like he also has a a main house. Like he doesn't live here. And I'm sure this costs a lot of money. But so he he must be like either a millionaire or like a five hundred thousandaire. <laughs> if that's a thing. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. On it. Doing it. Okay, something broke. Uh, someone broke something. Probably a rat. Rats are rude. The thing is with uh, Little Hope, which is like the recent one they made, there is a free free camera where you get to look around anywhere. I don't think this game has that. But look at that very s stretched finger. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. Free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. His mouth didn't move. I'm pretty sure his mouth didn't just did not just move there. Uh, maybe I'm going crazy, but I'm pretty sure I just saw it not move. Like his mouth didn't. I don't know. I'm just going to I'm just going to move on.
Bloop. Look at that picture. Prom night photo. Ready for the senior prom. Hannah, Sam, Mike, Emily. I wonder who took that picture. Either it was a professional that took it, which it seems as such, because it looks very professional-like. Or it was probably one of the other friends that took it. Maybe... I don't know. Can we make this not do that? Like, just close it? No? Can't touch it? What is he leaning on? Why is he, why was he, like... Why did he, why did his height go down a little bit? The, the cool thing is that you can literally just run around and just keep their, keep their, uh, head looking up. So they just look like a weirdo. <laughs> Inferno for men. Get the fuck. Ah, perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. Look at that. Well, now, Chris, you Thank shouldn't you. have done that. You, you should have grabbed. Right. You should have grabbed an other. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! That thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna make him fun of him. Soon. Wow. You know, I, I would be scared too. Even if I'm like an animal person, I would probably be scared. Ashley's still smiling. <laughs> She's oh, like, yeah, sweet. we got him good. <laughs> sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Wow. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse oh, me, did you snap. say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Everyone That's uncalled for, Jess. Jess. Why would you be such? like that? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled so... for. Whatever. So... I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a oh, with red with your Nikes. Ass. Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. To be honest, like, Emily and Jessica used to be, like, friends. And Jessica literally did that whole prank just because Emily was dating Mike and Hannah tried to make a move. And then, like, a year later, like, Jessica took Emily's man and is, like, now doing some romantic stuff right next to Emily. Or right next to everybody to be honest that would make anybody uncomfortable because like there's a bunch of drama there's a bunch of tension so i i guess i understand emily's point i mean she's pretty rude about it but i understand why she's acting the way she did because she like comes in and immediately sees that like that's the first thing she sees and she's like you know what you you stole my man after you you know supported me and all Jessica, that. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. 
You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down oh, to get real. Oh, snap. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. Oh. My gosh. They both just, like, utterly hate each other. Well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? I love how Chris, dad, Ashley, and Sam were just standing there, sitting there, like, uh, should we say something? Matt, are, are Let's just stay out of it. <laughs> oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Emily is, like, very rude. Okay. She's very That's abrasive good. and harsh and... Very, like, snappy. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> there was supposed to be a butt there, but I couldn't think of a butt. <laughs> <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> If we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. <laughs> hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. I just got to say it. There's another word for Jessica that starts with an S. And I don't mean sexy. You're just acting like that, Jessica. Just a little bit. Just acting like it. You know, I just gotta, I just gotta, you know, be honest with you. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Let me take the worst photo ever. Let me just make a selfie. Anything else I could take a picture of? I don't think so. I'll just take a picture of myself. Look at that. I look great. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay. But it's not easy holding the thing all, like, backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. <laughs> I love how she's like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna Burr, take the picture this time. I'm just gonna do it later. Something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Private property, Washington Estate. So they own like this entire entire mountain this entire estate and you're telling me they don't have a spare million dollars for a cell tower they're crazy how did they get all this money
Jessica. Only as dumb as she looks, if she thinks she can oh. cut in on what we got going on. Oh my gosh. On. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Uh, sure, I guess I'll agree. I think you bring out the worst there. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. I guess I'll I'll agree. Although I understand Emily's point, I'll just be I'll just agree because I'm Mike, and Mike would agree. Just be like uh, nice about it. Huh? Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Well, yeah. I, I guess you're right. He did say there was a generator. Look at Mike. Mike. Oh my gosh, he he looks nice. Honestly, I guess I see where Emily and Jessica. Mike, generator. All right, got it. Would you stop? I am complimenting my own character. Let me do that. He got like the perfect jawline. His little scruffle I of a wish beard. You could generate it's a... a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. Never mind. <laughs> hey Mike, gonna find the generator or what? I'm toteming. Uh, she just got punched. Danger totem. Hey, just to let you know, I I saw a totem and inside of it, Ashley just got punched. Hi. Let's talk. Let's talk. Were you ignoring Jenny. me? I was like in the middle of talking and you were ignoring me. That's really rude. Alright. Let's see. Boom. Look at this. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. I'm a mechanic. I'm a genius. Woo! You are a wizard. I know. I know, I'm a what? Creepy. But yeah, I'm a wizard. I'll show you my wand later. <laughs> you have to do every single action in this game. Which kind of drives me crazy, but... I guess I understand it. Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. I'll bring some hits later. Look, if they're doing it, I gotta do it. <laughs> I'm not sorry for it. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. <laughs> I love that that whole time Mike was looking down at her butt. <laughs> I made him look down at her butt the entire time. That was hilarious. I'm Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Hope they're at peace. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, um, okay. Did you hear that? Might have been your music that I don't hear anymore. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. I guess we will. <laughs> well, now, that's... That wasn't hey, what Jessica. you want to see. Yep. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap. 
crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. That's not what you want to see. Uh, yeah. She, you get out she got a little dirty. I don't know. That was supposed to be for later. I can hardly <laughs> see anything down here. You know what? I'll come down. All right, come I'm heroic. Stay put. I'm gonna be the man you. I'm gonna be the man you deserve. Hey, handsome. Wanna help well, move the man you want. I don't know if she deserves it or not. I imagine us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> it's great to believe that uh, the actor for Jessica, Megan Martin, she was in like, she was like, I think she was the actor in like Camp Rock. She was like the mean one. She was on Disney, and now she's on here. Oh crap! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yep. Yep. I'm fine. It's so crazy being on like it's it's cr it's crazy going from Disney to this, and I feel like it's the same thing with Jordan Fisher. I don't know when he started doing Disney oh, stuff, Nelly. but he was on Disney, the and then he went on here. Not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. <laughs> Oh. Fortune. Hey. I mean, she's all full full of scratches, but she was in her skibbies. She was in her uh unforeseen bathing suit. Huh. Stogie. A stogie. Yeah, smoke cigars. <laughs> it's recent. I wonder who is out there. Boop. Whoa. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native America, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Good question. Oh, okay. You all right? Uh, yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. The thing is with these games, and especially like Until Dawn and Dark Picture games, they like heavily rely on jump scares. And on this game, it kind of works. And for a uh, little hope, it kind of works as well. Jesus. This place but is a real fixer-upper. For the most part, it kind of... It, it's just like, they they just rely on that. They don't rely on, like, things just being genuinely creepy and scaring you. They just rely on just scaring you out of nowhere. Which I guess that's kind of like a formula for all scary movies. Or scary things. Find that to Freddy's does it like crazy. Most horror, well, these type of horror games do it. Uh, some horror movies do it. It just seems like a pretty smart and easy method to scare the crap out of the people. But I don't know. This like, there's hardly anything that tries so hard to like scare somebody without doing jump scares like I am I'm pretty sure all horror aspects do at least one jump scare okay well that's not good I guess uh, jump scares do like get you, keep you on your toes and make you pay attention and get you all uh, heartbeat going but when it's ex an excessive amount of jump scares it kind of like becomes predictable.
I never realized that, like, the trees up there kind of make, like, a weird shading effect. I don't know if that's a bug or that's how that's supposed to work, but that it looks kind of weird. I never noticed that when I first played the game. I'm assuming it's supposed to look like that. Let me see. Let me okay. let me see what you saw. I don't see any. I mean that's creepy, but I don't I don't think I see anything. Let me let me try a second time. There was like a little smudge on the telescope. Nope, don't see nothing. You're crazy. I haven't didn't see the, the old eggnog again, babe. It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything the, that entire time. I don't know what you saw. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Hug a bear? Come on. You're crazy. Let's not hug a She's bear. She's crazy. Honestly, why would she want to hug a bear? I mean, to be honest, maybe build a bear? A stuffed bear? I would hug, but like a real life bear? Unless the bear is like friendly to humans and would hug back very gently. Getting a hug from a bear doesn't sound nice. Because, like, you'll get the hug, but it'll be super squeezy, and they'll probably try to bite your head. The music's picking up. The sound. <laughs> what, was, what was that hand thing he just did there? I was just flirting. Just yeah, that was that was how I flirt. Wow! I screamed really? at the top of my lungs yeah. as if I was scared. Not a lot of love to give. <laughs> scared. <laughs> How's my status with Jessica right now? Is it good? Oh, ooh, ooh! My honest and charitable went super, super down. But my relationship is jet with Jess is super high. You love to see it. You love to see it. But charitable is super super low. Why is that super super low? Curious is low. Honest is low. Well, I guess I understand that because I kind of lied there. But like charitable is really low. Dang. At least the relationship is jet with Jess is super high. You're about to get it on. Like Donkey Kong. <sighs> Damn it, Josh. Drum it to the beat of the drum. The path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. My name's not Debbie. <laughs> oh, boo! Show up. Hey, Mike. You got something on your face. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Jess? Jess! 
Oh, snap. I think I should end it here. Hey, I'm Sam now. But I feel like I should end it here. Why did the thing with Matt go lower? Why did the thing with Matt go lower with Sam? I didn't even, like, play Sam enough to do something bad with Matt. Matt didn't even... I guess she didn't... I don't know. But I'm gonna end it here. The episode's been pretty long. And I know there's more to this chapter. I wasn't... I was thinking about going each chapter of the game. Each video. But, um... That's gonna... That's gonna be... Very long episodes. And it's like 40-something minutes in. And I don't want episodes to be too, too long. Like, I don't want it to be like an hour and a half. So, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you everybody for watching. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you sneeze during this video, bless you. If you had a bad day, I truly hope this helped cheer you up in some way. And if you are enjoying this epi these episodes, do let me know. And yeah, see you everybody. See you in the next video.